Let me say some more about, about this music, capital, capital, capital M. What, what do you give back to a record? You li I'm listening to a record. What, what do we give back to it? Now, everyone thinks of what they get from the music. What Fort Fungler's doing to them, what Beethoven's doing to them. And I don't quite just see it that way. It's, all, it's also, what do we give back to the music? How are we, as it were, one with it? And it's, I mean, yes, you can go to a concert hall, you can applaud, big deal. That's after the music. That's not when you are listening to the music, whether it be you know, live or, or record. But when the trouble with going to a concert is you're so caught up with the vibes of everyone else, and, and social decorum stops you doing things like moving, physically moving. Um, if I'm listening to music at a, on a record at home, I am moving with the music. And, and, and I'm never conducting it in the usual sense, never the beat, but I'm always moving with the pulse. Always, I feel my body moving, especially if you know the music. And you're moving with it, as as the waves of the music. You are moving with it, both inside yourself and physically, in your body movement. Music is movement, and 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 it's 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 more than that too. It's as you're moving with it, you become it. And you, you cease to become aware, in a way, of the difference between you and the music. You see, if the ultimate point of making music is to express the, the performer's altruism <laughs> in, in a hypothetical state, unfortunately, then when he is playing, he is feeling at one with the music, at one with the composer, at one with his instrument, at one with the audience, at one with the hall, and of course all the other musicians with him. And it should be the same with the listener, that you feel one with it, that there's no difference between you and the music. You are the music, the music is you, and, and all is one, all is one. You see, and, and the more that you, that you can surrender your ego to the music, and the more the performer and the composer can do the same. And the more there is this true altruism, this be beyond altruism, where all is one, all is one. And that's, that's, that's what I think can happen with the music. And that's very, very different from just going along with the, you know, Beethoven symphony and, and sort of sitting there rather passively and say, okay, give it to me, I'm ready to receive it. A and it can be singing along with it, yes, it can be humming along with it, it can be moving physically along with it. But more than that, it's moving inside with it, with the pulsation, with the universal pulsation. 
as expressed in the music. And it's, it's more than that. It's not just moving with it. As I said, it's, it's being one with the movement of, of it. It's being one with the music. That there's no difference. It's that from it, you learn the ultimate truth. The ultimate truth that all is one. That's what I think music, music, music can really do for us if we will just surrender our egos and allow it. <laughs>